God bless you guys, this is Cindy, and I just wanted to come on today and just talk to you about the importance of having an attitude of gratitude. You know, there's so much that we need to be thankful for, and a lot of times we, you know, sometimes focus only on Thanksgiving, a day to give thanks, but you need to give thanks every single day. If you are alive today and you have breath in your body, you have something to give thanks for. You know, there's somebody that might not have woke up this morning, but you're awake today, so you must have an attitude of gratitude. You know, a lot of times we focus on what's going wrong and we forget about all the great things that's going great in our lives. So I think it's important to have a thankful heart. I think it's important to every day thank God for you know, even the simple things like the ability to walk or talk or, you know, the ability to say, you know, thank you, Lord, that I know you, you know, that's a great gift as well. And, you know, and we need to be thankful to others as well, you know, because I always say God left two commandments, love God and love your neighbors. And a lot of times we tend to look at what's wrong with people instead of looking at what's right with people. And we need to be appreciative and thankful for the people that God has placed in our lives and stop looking at their flaws and start looking at their blessings and how they blessed your life you know a lot of times people don't realize what they got until it's gone that's the saying but you want to have a mind where you're thankful for everyone you know tomorrow's not guaranteed for nobody that's why I tell myself every day and I want to be thankful for the people that God has placed in my life and I want to be thankful to God you know because somebody had said once if you forgot to thank God for the things that he's given you can you imagine if he took it away the next day and I can't imagine I'm thankful for a roof over my head I'm thankful for food on my table I'm thankful for you know my family and my husband and my children and you know my job and you know I'm thankful for my fellowship for my church you know I'm thankful for the truth I'm thankful for the Bible I'm thank you for Christian television. I'm just thankful for so many things, you know, and I want to tell you guys have a heart of Thanksgiving. Give thanks to God every day. Give him the praise and the glory. You know, we have to be grateful. Having a grateful attitude is so powerful. You know, I heard people have like a gratitude jar where they just drop things of what they're thankful for. And I think that's important to do, you know, even if you don't have a gratitude jar, a gratitude journal, you know, just every day, just saying, thank you, Lord, you know, as simple as that. Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, God, you know, for, you know, keeping me at night and blessing me. And thank you, God, for the opportunities that you're bringing into our life. Because God loves that. God loves, he inhabits the praises of his people. He loves when we have a thankful heart and not being bitter and angry, but just being blessed and and grateful and people see that as well they can read who you are by the way you act and you want to show them who God is we have to reflect who our father is if we are a child of the most high God then we need to resemble our father and our father is our heavenly father and our father is love and our father is one that has a grateful attitude and a grateful you know to our neighbors and and to show the kindness and the mercy and the grace that he's shown us we need to show our brothers and sisters and a lot of times we might be the only Jesus people see we mean might be the only Bible people read and we need to make sure that we are an accurate reflection of who our daddy is and you can't really you know resemble your daddy or know and, and and know how your daddy acts if you're not spending time with your father right so I encourage you spend time with your God and I guarantee you're gonna have an attitude of gratitude because when you really know the truth and you really study your work you're gonna say my God you're so merciful God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son son for you and I. He loved us so much that he died for us. He died for our sins that we could come to him in his throne room because of the blood that he shed on Calvary. Is that not enough to say thank you God I don't know what it is God is in the business of taking brokenness and make them whole. God is in the business of taking the people that you know are overlooked and the people that, you know, that nobody else wants to deal with. And God is the one that says, come to me and watch me refresh you and watch me transform your life and watch me to use you. Remember in the Bible, you know, I think about Moses. He was a murderer and God used him. I think about David. He was an adulteress and he slept with a married woman and God used him. I think about, you know, Abraham. He lied. I think about Noah. He was a drunk. You know, like if God is in the business of using broken people in the Bible, he's still in the business of using broken people like you and I today and he will make us home and he will transform us and people will know it's only by the grace of God <laughs> that we're able to come out there and testify the beauty that God gives us for the ashes and the and the hell that we've been through God will turn it around and make it a heavenly encounter and 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 people will say 
is God that did that to you. So today I just want to say be thankful. You know, you know, thank God for the little things and thank God for the big things and just have an attitude of gratitude and just have a heart filled with thanksgiving and just say thank you. You know, sometimes it's as simple as thank you. If somebody held the door for you, thank you. If somebody, you know, you know, gave you something, you say thank you. You know, I, I don't ever want to be a person that forgets to be thankful. I want to be a person that says thank you. Because people remember that, and God remembers that as well. That you remember, you know, though He slay me, I still praise Him. You know, even when He takes things away, you still gotta be thankful. You gotta just have an attitude that no matter what, I am thankful. So today, I encourage you just say thank you. Be thankful to your brothers and sisters. Say thank you to somebody, you know, that might not realize, you know, thank you goes a far way, you know, and even to your bosses and to your leaders and, you know, to your family members and to your spouses, you know, we take some of their stuff that we do for granted and sometimes people want to be appreciated and sometimes people want to say, you know, I'm here, thank you. And today I just encourage you, say thank you. Have an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful today. And today I want to say thank you, God, for, you know, using me to glorify him and thank you god for all the people that are watching this video and thank you god for the people that are going to be touched by you touching them through our ministry of glory goes for jesus and for any other avenue that i'm able to come into their lives and anyone that's watching this video i want to say thank you god and let us all have an attitude of gratitude so i love you guys god bless you guys and thank you jesus